everybody it is still day one actually so how this is kind of working is I'm going to film like part of the night before and then the next day so like last night I filmed Sunday night and then a little bit of Monday today and then tonight I'm gonna film like Monday night and then Tuesday tomorrow because I think that'll give me enough time to edit the blogs or the vlogs I keep calling them blogs but edit the vlogs so I can put them up for you guys the night of the day. So tonight I just finished and uploaded my blog for day one. So you guys can go check that out if you haven't. And I'm basically I'm just sitting here with my book and my phone is beside it. But I'm not like my notification are on silent. I'm just doing it for the Twitter sprints. I'm actually chugging along very quickly on Rebel Rising, and I'm really enjoying it so far. Like, so far I've, like, surprised, actually, because the other Star Wars YA book I've read I really didn't like. I'm really enjoying it. I love having more of a backstory for Jin, so I'm pretty excited for that. So I should actually finish this tonight. I foresee myself being able to do so. So now that I know that my buses are actually stopping at my bus stop, I don't have to get up early, or if I do get up early, I can use some of that time for reading, so I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to take White Feather Murders or one of the Portia Adams books to work tomorrow and actually read during my break, so I'm going to try and do that. So yeah, we're going to keep on going with the evening tonight and then into tomorrow. And by the way, there's no storm tonight. Well, it's cloudy and windy. But, so, funny story, so you guys know how I've been really whining about the heat and stuff lately? Well, it's actually really chilly today. In fact, I'm wearing my Christmas Olaf sweater because I'm cold. <laughs> oh, Canada. Good morning, everybody. It is six o'clock ish this morning instead of 5 30 which is nice still kind of keeping an eye on the bus situation but yeah i'm wearing my floral print scrubs today it's like the one time i wear like bright bright colors and f prints i never wear is for work because it's scrubs and nobody cares but anyway you're here about what i've been reading so last night i stayed up far too late like I mean, it didn't sound very late, like I stayed up till about 11, but when you have to wake up at 5 o'clock to get ready for your day, like, I'm still kind of behind-ish on what I need to do to get ready this morning, and I'm vlogging, because I'm a responsible adult. But anyway, I, um, finished Rebel Rising last night, and I really enjoyed it. I gave it a four-star rating. There's just a couple of slight, very slight content moments and very, very slight language. But other than that, I really enjoyed it. And there's just a couple of things I wish they'd done a little bit different to kind of match the movie. But overall, I really enjoyed it. I'll talk more about it in my wrap-up. Um, this morning, I kind of took a moment to read the first couple pages of Elemental and read the first couple pages of Sun and Moon, Ice and Snow just to decide what I'm going to read next. And I got caught in to Sun and Moon, Ice and Snow first or it was more interesting to me than elemental and that's kind of what I do when I'm trying to decide what books to read next I will go into like read the first couple pages I might also throw in a Portia Adams adventure today because those are library books so like Rebel Rising and the two Portia Adams books are library books that have extended their extensions so I do need to take them back so if I don't finish these ones I own these ones so it's not as bad so I'm going to try and get to the library books first today but I did kind of look at the other two see what ones I want to read but probably end up with a Portia Adams book today because I could probably finish that tonight I'm gonna check the time here yeah so to update you guys in Pokemon Go if any of you guys care um rumor has it on my Facebook raid group that Articuno is a temporary thing yeah I'm gonna go make my lunch for the day I'll take a book to work and this time I'll actually read the book I take to work Anyway, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye. Hey everybody, welcome back. It is about 5 o'clock-ish now my time. I got 13 pages read of Thrice Burn on my break at work. That's pretty good. You know, in between like eating and stuff. 
And okay, so I read a little like cafe area in the hospital, so it's like it's open to patients and visitors and staff and stuff. And it's like along the main hallway and everything, so it's not like the cafeteria or anything like that. And I just like sitting there because there's a lot of windows and I don't get to see outside a lot. I mean, I have windows in the office, but anyway. So, like, staff can sit there and have lunch, and sometimes a group of staff will come and, like, push, like, eight tables together and take up the whole area, which is kind of rude, actually. But, anyway, so I was sitting at a four-seater, and then two people who normally eat together that are staff, and yes, I people watch, so I know they normally eat together, were sitting together, and then a gentleman came by that normally eats with them, and he says hello, like, really loudly, chucks his stuff onto my table, sits on the, like, the corner, like, opposite, of, like, across opposite of me and like turns his back to me ignores me completely and starts a really loud conversation with these women and I'm like dude rude like if you want the table pull the table over with the chairs this isn't a cafeteria where you can just plop down at every table like I was sitting at that table if you want the table take the table I don't care but so try reading a book when he's having a really loud obnoxious conversation so I moved on I went back to work and yeah so that's about all of the reading I did today and to be honest I'm like physically exhausted my kitchen is a disaster and I have to go clean that and I was kind of mad because that was left for me to clean so I have to go clean that I just took a picture for the Instagram challenge I invaded my mom's planters out in the hallway and stuck a book in there anyway it turned out really good you guys should go check that out yeah, I'm going to go find some supper. I'm going to start my kitchen. <laughs> Probably won't finish it tonight. Going to go get some supper, start cleaning my kitchen, and then I'm going to read for the rest of the evening. I don't even bother to touch my computer anymore right now. I'm probably going to continue with Thrice Burned just because I started it. And um, I'm just so intrigued by the way this book is written. It's just so polite and British and awesome. And the main character is Canadian which is also so awesome and people are like oh you're American and she's like no Canadian actually from Toronto it's like you know we're just so tired of just being grouped in with the Americans not that there's anything wrong with the Americans but it's like we're separate on our own like when we're traveling out abroad it's like oh you must be American it's like I'm North American there's two countries in North America two so if I have a North American accent, I am either from the United States or I am from Canada. And Portia got to deal with that. So that was kind of cute. I like that. So that was fun. I enjoyed that. So yeah, I'm going to go make some supper, probably some spaghetti. I feel like comfort food. I've been eating very poorly lately, but I feel like comfort food. Maybe some garlic toast. Mmm. We're thinking now. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right, guys. Supper is done. My kitchen is somewhat better than it was before. I have the dishwasher going. That's good. I'm about 40 pages into Thrice Burned. I'm really liking it. Like I said, I love the way this is written. I love the fact that the main character is Canadian. I love the fact that it's being set in England and it's got a lot of Sherlockish themes going on to it. So really cool. I like the way these characters think. I'm enjoying this and I'm going to finish reading that tonight. I'm going to edit this vlog. I'm going to do some Twitter sprints so I'll see you guys on there tonight and so yeah so this vlog isn't gonna be as exciting there's no storms so I'm gonna end the vlog here for today for day for day one evening and day two day and then a post tomorrow for day two evening if I do any more tonight and day three day so yeah bye <laughs>